Okay, we're going to be using subdivision proxies and the extrude tool to make a, uh, a nice little glass like this today. All right, so I'll just delete these. All right, and we can just uh, start. Now, just make sure that you're up in polygons up here. And I'm just going to make a nice little base like so. All right, nothing very uh, exciting for now. Now, what I might do just for now <coughs> is go up to proxy, subdivision proxy, and just click on the box up here. So I'm just gonna make a subdivision proxy, and I'm just gonna make this level three. Okay, do not make it four. That's uh, very important. All right, so I'll hit smooth. Now we can't see anything. Uh, I'm just going to press. I'm just going to press uh, my wireframe now, and there's my uh, subdivision proxy here. All right, so I might just scale this down a little bit more. All right, now what I want to do is I'm just going to press the right mouse button and click on face. All right, so I'm no longer selecting by object, I'm just selecting by the face. And I'm just going to click on the uh, little blue square here. Now I've got my, <coughs> now I've got my face selected. All right, now I'll go up, edit mesh, and extrude. Alright, and what I'm just going to do is to press up. Alright, so you can see when I'm extruding just how it uh, it's changing. Okay, that's good. Now I'm just going to go over, scale it in a bit. Like so. Alright, I'll just bring that down a bit too. Alright, now, next thing I'm going to do, uh, the shortcut for extrude is this one just here. Let's see if that comes up. Yep, there's my extrude. So I just keep pressing this button and I should be okay. All right, now I've extruded it. Uh, what I'm going to do before I move anything, I'm just going to use my scale tool. And I'm just going to scale just from the middle in like so. Okay. Now, going to scale again and just push up. All right, like so. Don't quite worry about it, that it'll all make its way around. And let's just extrude again. Okay, so I move up and then I'm going to R to scale and just bring it out like so and just go through the processes again of extruding. Something's gone quite weird there. I don't know why it's done that. All right. Now I can just keep going. So really that's gone quite unusual. All right. <laughs> Something's weird there. So what I might do, I might just select my object, delete it, and uh, I'll just make another one, proxy, subdivision, proxy. All right, you can do that at any time, like so. Now, you'll notice my, uh, I've got just transparency that I don't really like. <coughs> what I might do is just go up to shading and use default material. All right, turn it off and back to normal now. All right, there we go. Now, I'm gonna hit face again, select in, extrude, yeah, use my scale key, and scale just in a bit. And I'm just gonna press extrude again, 
and I'm just going to press my arrow alright and there I'm going inside alright great now last thing I want to do is I just want to get some of these edges a little bit sharper so what I might do edit mesh insert edge loop tool all right okay now I've got a yellow I'm sorry I've got a white arrow, arrow selector here and I might just go in click and hold and the closer I get to an edge the sharper it becomes so I might go there and release bang okay you can see that there now I'm just going to go down to the bottom click and drag and down there I go might do another one just down here click and drag just get it quite sharp there I go might just put another one here why not it's really up to you to decide no I don't like that control Z and just maybe one more up here click and drag all right yep and maybe see what happens if I put one in the middle here click and drag yep <clears throat> okay so using subdivisions all right to uh, subdivisions and proxies to make your uh, your glass